Hey guys, Tag from Data6. Uh, you saw the first two videos. Hey guys, Tag from Data6. Uh, you saw the first two videos where we went shooting during the Thanksgiving weekend. Uh, today is Sunday. Uh, tomorrow they go back to school. Uh, but today we're going to learn how to clean rifles. I'm going to teach them the way that I was taught. It may not be the proper way, but it's the way that I was you know, taught how to do it. I'll teach it to them. And if they pursue a career in the military or police and law enforcement and find out that, uh, you know, that they've been doing it wrong, they'll learn the right way. But this is the way I was taught. This is how I'm going to teach them. And I just want them to respect firearms, to know that they're, they're, they're useful, they're fun to use, uh, like with how we did it. But they also have to take care of them after the fact. So uh, enjoy. Now, since we shot so many rifles over the weekend, um, you know, I got to clean them all at one time, and we're down in the basement doing this. So I was trying to think of a place to put them while we're cleaning them, and I thought the better way is to open up the drawers on the toolbox and store them that way. That way we can keep count of or track of which ones were clean and which ones were not. Um, these are just the standard cleaning with a cleaning kit, um, and I'll show those on the table in a minute. The uh, SKS, we're going to use the uh, cleaning kit that came with the rifle that's here in the buttstock, and we'll go over that whole cleaning thing. This is the one we'll tear down completely to um, clean. And then, of course, the Glock came with its own cleaning kit inside the, the, the gun case, and we'll clean that one. Um, I've made sure before we get started that all the all of the rifles and the handgun have been cleared of any rounds. Uh, so the chambers are empty, uh, but we have two gun cleaning kits here. This was one that was out, um, Outer's brand. It's just a simple one. It's really just for 22. Um, and this one is the Hops. This is an old kit, um, and it comes with several different caliber brushes, um, including also one for 12 gauge shotgun, which we'll use. Um, we've got the same, the basic thing like the toothbrush, some towels, and then we're going to either use gun oil or this uh, mill cow gun lubricant protectant. And uh, you know, it's just the cardboard tube is what's bad on it. But um, we'll use this to coat everything, including the bore, when we get done cleaning them. All right, I've got the three of them down here, and we're going to go over on. I'm showing them how to do it on one rifle, and each one is going to have a rifle to clean themselves. All right, so the first thing you got to do is make sure the gun is not loaded. And we see that the chamber is open, mm -hmm. or the breech is open. There's nothing in there. So we're going to take the magazine out. I think we're going to take the magazine out. Set that to the side. Now we have to take the cleaning kit. Now this is a rod and they attach by sections because some rifles are longer than others. So this one's going to need two. Two rods. See how it's going to come through? Yep. And when we slide that through, through the barrel, you'll see that it comes in through there. Okay? Yeah. So what we're going to do, we're going to have to put this little piece on. Okay? And there's a slot in there, and we have to put what they call a patch through it. And these have small patches, and then we have Eight large patches. patches for different size calibers. So what we'll do with this patch, we're going to fold it in half and put it in that little slot. Like that. Okay? Okay. And we'll have that open up a little bit. Fold it a little bit different. Like that. Okay? And this is stuff called solvent. And this is going to eat up any gunpowder residue that's inside okay. the barrel. So we're going to put a little, I just dip it down in there. You don't need much. Okay? And you, and then we're going to, I hit the camera, then we're going to slide that patch down through the rifle <clears throat> all the way through where it comes out. 
and then we'll pull it back through. Okay? Once we do that, we're going to take that piece off, because now we've just coated it in solvent, and we're going to put the brush on, and we're going to run that through the barrel. Yeah, it's going to clean in here. See how it comes out through? And then pull it back out. Okay? It does come out. We'll set that brush to the side. Wipe that off. Put a new patch in. And then screw that back on there. Dip it back in the solvent. And then run it back through. Is it okay if you get it on your hands? Yes, yeah, it comes off. Okay. See how dirty that is? It's yep. dirtier than before. Do it again. And that's cleaning everything out. You'll see it's going to come out even dirtier. See? Way dirtier. Oops. So we're going to wipe that off. Yeah. It's solvent. No, it doesn't smell like tea tree oil. And then we're going to put a clean patch through. And do the same thing again? Do the same thing again. With a clean patch, kind of wiping it out. Mm -hmm. I'm just going to keep putting the patch through until it comes clean. Until they get less dirtier. Mm -hmm. This one isn't that dirty. That one looks like it's the cleanest. One more time should do it. I have a question. What's that? Um, is it okay if you um, if you like spin it slowly around? No, because it might come unscrewed. Oh. You don't need to, you don't need to turn it. Okay. I put it in one way, and I'll turn it around that way. Okay. Okay. Then you're going to take another patch. And we're going to put a little gun oil on it. Yeah. And you don't want to over lubricate a gun because the oil might catch fire. Yeah. And we're just going to put a little, put a little oil on there. Like that. And then we're going to run that back through. Because you want to keep a gun oiled so that it doesn't get rusty. Okay. Especially when we haven't fired it for a long time. Now, we have just cleaned the barrel. Okay. And now we want to clean the receiver area. Right, right in here. Okay. Okay. And that's when I use toothbrush. toothbrush. Um, How much drops of gun oil do you? Well, I don't know. I just put enough on there to coat it. I don't want to spill a lot of this. Okay. And then you want to just kind of clean down in there the best you can. Okay. Is that what this is? That's an old one. Mm -hmm. That's what that is. Toothbrush. See how dirty that is? Yeah. Oh. Is that where we're going? So you might want to um, buy them. Like a few when you're um and I wrapped them. 
bigger patch. Patch it. And it'll dry it out. Yeah, just kind of wiping it out a little bit. Yeah. Like a washcloth. Are you going to wash off? Now normally I would take this gun completely apart, you know, take the everything apart and clean it, but we're not going to do that. Don't need to. This, you know, well, you need to. We're going to do it later, but we're going to just get these clean so we can put them away before Christmas. Mm -hmm. Okay, so now we have cleaned that out. Once again, we'll take a little gun oil. Gun oil. We're going to oil where the firing pin is. Like that. Okay. Now, once you finish cleaning, you want to make sure the bolt stays open. Okay. Okay. You don't want to leave them closed. Leave the bolt open. Okay. Okay. And that's how you clean a, a quick clean on a rifle. Okay. All right. All right. What's the first thing you got to do? Um. Make make sure it's not loaded. Okay. Is there anything in the magazine? Nope. You sure? Yes. Remember this one's the tube? Yeah. Okay. Nothing in there? Nothing. Okay. All right. Two pieces going to be long enough? Yep. Okay. Now what do you do? You take a patch mm -hmm. and fold it. Mm -hmm. I was doing threes. I was doing threes. Okay. Fold it in thirds. Fold it in thirds. Oh. Like that. Okay. And then like that. Okay. Dip it in the solvent. You hold it up like that. There you go. Pull it out. You got it. Okay. You need to hold the rifle. Hold it with your hand there. Hold it with your hand here. Okay. Hold the rifle barrel and put it in there. There you go. There you go. Push it. Okay. And turn it that way. And go again. That one's dirty. Okay. Pull it out. Okay. Then what do you do? Pull it out. Yep. And then you do it with another one. No. Wait. The brush. Yeah. So you screw. Unscrew it off. This. This off. Sorry. Yep. It's all right. Push it in there. Okay. Pull it up.
There you go. <sighs> Alright, how are you going to wipe it out? You will... wait. You... You take the tooth No, take the brush off. Okay. Now you got to run the patches through. Okay, remember? Yep. Okay. Fold it in three. Dip it back in the solvent. That's good. And run it back through. Now you gotta keep putting clean patches in. Yeah. Right there. No, threes. One, two. Okay. And we're listening to Black Flag if y'all wanted to know. We were listening to the Sex Pistols earlier. No, nope, you don't need more solvent. We're wiping it out. Put them in patch. Keep them in a pile. You want to keep them together. That's good. Now we'll go ahead and oil it. So put the go ahead and put the other patch on it. Put it in the You don't need to squeeze it hard. It's going to start dripping. Put it on the paper. Put it on the, on the floor. There you go. Okay. you got to set the bottle back up. And it will run, leak out.
Okay. Now, this one, I'll hold the bolt open. You're going to have to hold it open a little bit so you can scrub the brush in there, okay? Okay. So I'll put the solvent on. You don't need a lot. Yeah, you don't. Wait a minute, wait a minute. Okay. I am upstairs. I know. There we go. Then we'll get in there like that. And then tip it over like that. It doesn't come out on the sides. That's fine, we can wipe it off. Okay, you got it. Pull it up. You got it, you got it. Okay. Then set that all over here. And you want to wipe off the residue. Yes. Yep. I'll hold it. Okay. Oh. Now we need to get a little gun oil. You want to see that the ejector clip and pin, all that right in there? Okay, that's good. You don't need much. So you gotta get over here on the bolt. Oh. Yeah. Right in there. Okay. And you're gonna have to, you're gonna have to pull it back. Okay. Slide it back and forth. And just don't put your finger in here when you're doing that. Okay. I'm wipe it off. And that's it. Okay. Good job, buddy. Thanks. Alright, Zoe, it's your turn. What's the first thing you gotta do? To make sure it's not loaded. Is it loaded? No. How can you tell? Okay. Then you need to measure how long it is. Is that gonna be long enough? Push it all the way to the end of the barrel. Okay, yes. it comes through there, so that's long enough. All right, so what's the first thing you need to do? Doing get get out of the way. Take it out. Mm -hmm. get a new Brush. Brush. So you unscrew this. Straight in. I'm not wiggling. Here we we'll go. Ugh. Push. Don't oh, forget you're bending it. Just go straight with it. Okay, now 
pull it out. You gotta pull it straight, don't bend it. Pull it up over the barrel. Okay. okay. Now. You put back on this piece. Mm -hmm. And you get another patch. Mm -hmm. Hold it. Like this. Solvent. 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 Yep. You put in the solvent and the thing about you. It's up to you. Can you clean it now? Okay. Mm. Yes. 
Mm-hmm. You want to get the fold? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I'm going to scrub a little right in there. Okay. Put pressure in there. Just set it down. And just wipe it out. Yeah, it's coming out. Yeah, it's, you're wiping it out. Is that what you should be doing? Mm-hmm. Okay. There. Okay, and then you've got to get the gun oil. You want to run it in here and around there. That's good. Around there in the bolt. That's good, right there. And you want to... Play with the bolt back and forth. Go ahead and open it. Go ahead and open it and lock it. All right, good job. All right, Liam, go ahead and break down the SKS. The patches and the war behind you, plus the solvent. Get your solvent. You 
put a little in the middle. That's what you do is just do it this way. And now you're good to go. There we go. Don't lose your pin. It'll fly out if you don't want it. You're going to do the solvent. I guess we'll put your clean patches. Just lay it down. Take two more times and that's probably going to be it. Watch the pin. Pick the pin up. Don't jam it. At least, nope, get it in the wrong spot. Uh, it's got to go through.
No. Then I got an oral one. Got an oral one. Centrifugal and just do in the middle. There you go. You're going to run it through just like you did the solvent. <clears throat> other way. Other, turn around the other way. The paper. The, the, turn the patch over. Turn the patch over. There you go. Solvents underneath the, there's enough on here that you just scrub that out a little bit. Go right in here. Wipe it off. Solvent. Put on a toothbrush and then you want to get that clean. Do it over a tail. Plenty. Do it over the, no, not over the gun, do it over the towel. your fingers are where you're holding it real good. See how it's coming. Get it all down in those grooves and stuff. Alright, now 
uh, get the towel and wipe that off. See how difference the piston made? You see it? It's got a little residue in there. Okay. Go ahead and put the piston back. Go ahead and put the piston back together. Push it over. And now you need to oil the bolt and put the bolt back together. Why not oil it? Both pieces. Mm -hmm. It's right in there. It's trying to work around where the thing slides. Oops, do it like this. Just it's like caulking. Just do the pieces. Oh, anything that metal slides on metal, like right in there, and then put the bolt back together. Bolt back. Okay, open the clip. Pull the bolt back. Okay. Close it. Open, open the bolt. Okay, put the cleaning kit back again. But you gotta put the rod back in first. You gotta put the rod back in first.
Good job. That didn't take too long. Not bad for a first time. How many rifles have you ever cleaned before? Uh, one. One? Okay. <laughs> Not bad. Alright, so each kid got to clean their own rifle. Um, I hope that they learned what I have shown them. Um, I'll finish the rest of them this evening. And I'll see you then.